Hi, fairy friends. So this is going to be Career and Finances, July 2020 for Virgo. You can tell I'm doing Virgo because I have my head covered very modestly. Yes. Time to release negativity, Virgo. I don't know what you're feeling negative about, but it's time so to release it. So these three came out before I even turned on the camera. It says, be, I keep forgetting the sunlight. You just can't see the card. Be bold and make the first move. A time for healing. Emotions are running high. Okay. This one keeps coming out for a lot of people. Um, emotions are running high. You know, when I worked for the university hospital here in the States, um, the fiscal year started in July. So maybe you run a business or you own a business. Um, maybe that's the case for a lot of people. I don't know. Does the fiscal year usually start in July for people? I don't know, but, but this is no exception. All right, Virgo. Career and finances. Career and finances. Let's get a couple more just, just for shits and grins. I like this look. This is a good look. <laughs> oh, modest Virgo. I knew it was you when I had to cover my head. Luck is on your side, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you necessarily like to, you know, cover you. You could. You could be, you could be a Muslim woman. Or you could be what they're called a woman of cover, right? We've heard women, the term woman of color, person of color, right? To refer to a non-white person. But have you heard the term woman of cover? That's fascinating, right? So you could be somebody who um, likes to dress very modestly. Um, you could be very like traditionally minded when it comes to your garb, right? You could uh, really like that the old style. Ooh, have faith in your dreams. Yeah, faith, definitely. Okay, emotions are running high. Have faith in your dreams. Also, you could just be somebody who just likes to keep your head down and nose to the grindstone like that's very much Virgo energy you don't want to draw attention to yourself though the funny thing about it is I was thinking about this the other day you and your loved ones are safe by the way time for healing you and your loved ones are safe hold your vision be bold make the first move hold your vision okay Virgo um I was thinking about this the other day you know in some nations women cover themselves so as not to draw attention but here in the United States if you like if i were to go out with my head covered like this i would garner attention right people would be staring at me like what's with the hood what's with the head cover is she in some kind of cult is she some is she some kind of amish thing weirdo is it some kind of weird you know <laughs> so your efforts to keep your nose to the grindstone to stay um out of the spotlight could be failing <laughs> because you're you you're just you're just you're just beautiful perhaps um you have a very good energy very harmonious peaceful kind kind of energy so here you are trying to just put your nose to the grindstone trying to do what you need to do you know to satisfy whatever uh duties you have and people just can't help and but notice that like they're attracted to that right okay then doing this a little different for you i'm pulling nine of these moon cards so i'm definitely in a feminine energy right now very much confidence is your key to success the answers you need are coming the energy is gaining momentum wow okay so this is going to be a little different than oh a win-win outcome is forecast so there you go virgo check this out this is how i'm doing it see three three and three so it's three moon cards so yeah we're definitely in a, a feminine intuitive energy moving forward with this reading i can sense it already okay <clears throat> now i'm being called the full bees yeah, I'm pulling all this stuff. I'm getting all this stuff out the closet, Virgo. What's going on here? Be bold and make the first move. That's tricky for you. Be bold and make the first move. Career and finances for Virgo. 
20, July 2022. Career and finances for Virgo, July 2022. You got the fool. Be bold and make the first move. Here's your confirmation, okay? You got the fool. You need to take a leap of faith, okay? You need to listen to your guides and take a leap of faith. The one underneath that, hold your vision. Here, let me show you exactly what I'm doing again. So you can see where I'm putting these and why they're why they're significant. Shit. Let me figure the fuck out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you can see where I'm putting them and why why exactly they're significant. So see this column, be bold and make the first move. Hold your vision. The energy is gaining momentum. So we pulled the fool for be bold and make the first move, okay? Let's see what we let's see what tile we pull for uh, hold your vision. Parthenos. That means virgin. Athena Parthenos, goddess of wisdom, could be very significant to you at this time. Ooh, the chariot. Hold your vision, the chariot. Yeah, confirmation. Again, move forward. Hold your vision and, and move steadily forward towards your goal, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. You definitely have a plan. You truly do. The energy is gaining momentum. I'm not pulling uh, reversals this time. <gasps> the world. Okay, yeah. So you're like this close to whatever it is. You're so close to completing it. It is ridiculous. Like you are on the threshold. Let's pop over here. A time for healing. Wow, that came out. The moon. Okay, yeah. So they're And they're both crescent moons. Fascinating. Yeah, there's something that you're not looking at. There's a situation that you're not being honest about, not honest with yourself. You and your loved ones are safe. Ooh, death. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. So whatever changes are happening, don't worry about it, okay? If you recent if someone in your family recently passed away, maybe unexpectedly, you and your loved ones are safe, okay? <laughs> so just Put your energy where it belongs as far as all of that goes. I'm having fun playing around with this. This is this is neat. Okay, here we go. I like your energy, Virgo. You're very um you're very detached. Compassionate yet detached. The answers you need are coming. You're definitely not looking to draw attention to yourself, but you, you have natural grace and you have natural beauty and you have natural poise. So it's going to be difficult for you not to, no matter how much you cover it up. The hanged man, the answers you need are coming. Okay, yeah, you may have hit a crossroads in your plan. Just have faith, okay? The answers you need are coming. Now we're popping over here. Emotions are running high. Superman. Temperance. Good. Yes. Yeah. Stay tempered. That's going to be important. Usually that's pretty easy for you, but um, if you had a plan and it starts to go off the rails, that can cause Virgo to fret, to worry. Virgos are, um, unfortunately, are excessive worriers. Okay? So you need to temper that worry you need to just breathe out and remember that um the answers you need are coming and that you and your loved ones are safe so what more do you you know what i'm saying as long as you know that the answers you need are coming and that you and your loved ones are safe what what more do you have to fret about have faith in your dreams okay this is going to be important have faith in your dreams Ooh. I like this one. The Wheel of Fortune. So unexpected events are on the horizon. An unexpected turn of events. This will benefit you, okay? This will be to your benefit. Confidence is your key to success. I'm not taking reversals on these. I usually don't with the tiles. Otherwise, everything would be reversed. Ooh, the Empress. Yeah. Stepping into that divine feminine energy. Or just learning how to own your 
emotions, right? How to stand in your personal power, right? Like, this is how I feel. This is how I think. Um, this is what I believe. And this is what I'm going to go off of. The, I don't need anybody to uh, tell me otherwise. So let's get a stick for Be Bold and make the first move. We got three sticks. Hell yeah. Be Bold and make the first move. A pleasant surprise awaits you. Nice. Hold your vision. You have a secret. Guard it well for a month. See how these all correlate to one another? And this one. You will benefit from a difficult experience. Energy is gaining momentum. You will benefit from a difficult experience. So yeah, we pop over. And the beautiful thing about this is you can read them across. You can read them diagonal. You can read them up in, in columns as I'm doing for the sake of simplicity. Of course, simplicity. Um, I might take a picture of this, Virgo, and let you kind of study it and figure it out for yourself. Because I know you fucking love to do shit like that. Pick it apart and analyze it. and get Yeah, oh yeah. Woo, baby, you love that shit. All right. A time for healing. You and your loved ones are safe and the answers you need are coming. All right. A time for healing. Being vain will cause you pain. Okay, I see. So you may have embarrassed yourself. You may have done something that was that later on caused you humiliation or embarrassment. You need to be honest about that so that you can heal from that experience, learn from that experience, and ultimately let that experience go. You and your loved ones are safe. Remember, this is career and finances. I'm reminding myself that. <laughs> you will shortly make a new friend to your great advantage. Wonderful. This could have to do with the pleasant surprise and the holding your vision. The answers you need are coming, okay? You will soon receive a valuable present. This could be something you need for like a business venture. Emotions are running high. Your natural wit will be your fortune. Okay, yeah, laugh, Virgo, please. <laughs> laugh. It's okay, I promise you. Whatever it is, it's not that serious, I promise. Have faith in your dreams and confidence is your key to success. You will soon meet with ingratitude. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, if you're very sensitive, and Virgos can be. You're very sensitive. Somebody may, especially if you have like cancer in your chart, somebody may um, may put down an idea that you have. They may tell you, come on, bug, I'm in Virgo energy, but don't test it. All right. Uh, somebody may tell you that um, your idea is, you know what? Somebody that may not want to give you credit for your hard work or for your, an idea that was yours. All right, you will soon meet with ingratitude. Don't throw this away. Don't get spiteful, okay? Don't be like, well, fine. If, you, if, if you're just going to steal my shit, then here, have it. Fuck yous. Have it all. I'm done. Don't do that, Virgo. Confidence is your key to success because you will shortly best this rival. Got it? Like, you will shortly be proven, and I just spit. So that's a good sign. You will shortly be proven the um, producer of this whatever the fuck it is, okay? You're in finances. All right. Ooh. Purify my hands a little bit here. I'm going to rub them over the fire. Okay. Um, gee, what card's next? I'm being told to pull the angel cards. So I'm going to read these intuitively. We'll see what we get. Pull the angels. And I'm going to do an angel for each row. We're going to do it that way, okay? So what's the first row across? What angel do we need for that? Ooh, look. You're building some kind of foundation. Like, you're, whatever it is that you're putting together, you're going, you're operating from the heart, and that is going to lead to something very stable, very enduring, 
follow your heart, Virgo. Follow your heart, okay? Because you're planting a tree, my friend. You're planting a tree that will bear fruit. Follow your heart. All right, can we get some angels for the second one, please? Ooh, the serpent and the rainbow. Hey, that's a voodoo thing, the serpent and rainbow. You have a secret. Guard it well for a month. Yeah, you... You're magic. <laughs> you might be finding this out. Like, you might be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You may want to imbue your professional life with something sacred, right? Like, you might want to introduce a new um, element to uh, your job, your career, right? You might want to get spirit involved. You feeling me? You could want to, uh, if you're on a path of ascension, you could want your business to ascend. Okay. You will benefit from a difficult experience. But yeah, this is, but up here again, this is your secret. Like you're not telling anybody that you want to um, do this, right? That you want to... Um, start including some elements of the esoteric into your professional life. You'll benefit from a difficult experience. Okay, I'm picking something up here. Wow. You will benefit from a difficult experience. Yeah, something... You put yourself out there. I'm picking up with the lion energy. You put yourself out there. And... Uh, something may have hurt your feelings. Someone or something may have, may have put you in your feelings with the dolphin here. The lion and the dolphin, also the masculine and the feminine energy. You may have recently undergone an experience where you had to step into one of these energies. Or you may have been pushed, like you may have been held down in one energy as opposed to the other. But uh, this difficult experience is going to help you balance those energies. And what's the final one? Oh, yeah. Well, that's upside down. That is beautiful. See how the, the cross in the middle there, it's equal arms, four points, north, south, east, west. You've got it. Body, mind, heart, soul, maybe. Like, you're in balance, Virgo. Excellent. You're coming into balance with yourself. Now, this is pertaining to career and finances okay so if you've been like stagnant it's because your spirit hasn't been developing you're on the path to ascension my friend that's all there is to it you're not going to be able to hang out in this low vibration anymore okay you see what i'm getting at uh it, you're, you're not going to be able to anymore okay and that includes your business, if you're in a business, or that includes the job that you do, or the work that you do, or uh, how you organize your finances, right? Okay. I'm feeling called the police. Lots of competition. Let me go ahead and set this back up. You kind of got the layout, right? You got the layout. You got, you got it. You got it. I could even scoot this back, perhaps. And, uh, well, no, I can't. Fuck it. We're fine. It's good. It's good. I'm too fidgety. Now, I have Virgo in my chart, too. <laughs> my Venus is in Virgo. So, it can be a very nitpickety, very nervous kind of energy, but it's also a very humble um, very loving, very gracious energy as well.
Virgos often live for their work. They're the in that regard, they are the opposite of their Earth sign brethren, um, Taurus. I just did Taurus. Taurus is work to live, right? But Virgos love their work. Like there's no separation really between their life they live and their work. And this is where that workaholic energy can come into. So, okay, what do we got here? Pleasant surprise awaits you. Page of Cups. Okay. Can we get a, ooh, death. Oh my God. Okay. You may have made an offer and it got shot down. Justice. I see justice. And four wands. Okay. What is this? This is supposed to be clearing finances, you guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm talking to my guides. King of Swords. Okay, you may have reached out. Like shown interest in somebody only to have them uh, turn you away. Uh, very coldly. They could have, uh, if this isn't romance, then this could have been like a bit like a business thing, like an opportunity, a deal, some, some shit like that. Like you wanted to work with somebody, maybe somebody you really looked up to and only to find out that this person, um, is kind of cruel maybe or self-centered or they just simply didn't think you're you were good enough for them you will meet with ingratitude so this person could end up stealing your ideas like they don't want to work with you but they'll take your idea and work with it they want the idea they just don't want you and that could have caused you to be seriously disheartened the Emperor and the Hanged Man. Yeah, you, uh, your pride was wounded by that. Also, I could be talking to a Divine Masculine. We'll see. Yeah, so what did I say? Somebody wants to make off with your intellectual property. Seven of Swords, yeah. You will soon meet with ingratitude. Somebody's, somebody wants your idea. They don't want you, though. They don't want you attached to it. The High Priestess. Pick it up. The High Priestess. You knew this was coming, though. Temperance. Yeah. Cancer Sagittarius energy. Page of Wands. One more. The Magician. So there you are with Gemini. You knew this was going to happen, though. Virgo. Did you test somebody? You may have tested somebody. You may have secretly... You, you, you're tricky. You may have tested somebody to see how they would react, and you were not surprised to find out that this person is a snake. This could be a business partner, a co-worker, a boss. Um... Somebody in a, ooh, I saw the three of swords. Somebody in a position of power. I'm picking up a business partner. So I'm seeing, I saw cups. I saw three of swords and I saw knight of cups. You know that old saying, never meet your heroes? I'm picking up that vibe a little bit. You wanted to see if somebody, somebody that you looked up to at one point in time, you wanted to see if they were still that person or if they were the person that you thought them to be. And they're, they're not. Yeah, looking at, yeah, death. Yeah, you don't, you have lost respect for somebody in your field. You've lost respect for somebody in your field. That's all there's to it. Bing, bang, boom. You thought somebody was a mentor, they're a clown. You thought somebody was a mentor, they're a clown. 
or this, I mean, with the being vain will cause you pain. This could be you a little bit. What's one for being vain will cause you pain? Somebody went back with, I heard back to school. Five of Cups. They say the Five of Cups is useless regrets, and it very well may be in this one. But it's also my grief card, too. In the Rider White inspired deck that I have, this the Modern Witches Tarot, in the Rider White inspired deck I have, um, it's, it's my grief card, right? Because cups represent the body, and when the cup is spilled, you can't. You can't get it back. Like, like you can't pull the wine out of the sand and put it back in the cup. Remember how I said Virgo's work is their life? Like, their life's work? I don't want to say you mix business with pleasure, but you get, um, I've, I'm picking up, you're having regrets about the pers this person that you offered, you made an offer to, because this person is just water, like this person is is not very good they're not a very good business partner they're not a very good confidant like you could give them 10 cups and it you want somebody who can take the five of cups and turn it into the ten of cups there this is what you're looking for you're worried that you'll never find this person you're worried that you'll that you'll make this offer to the wrong person because if your life is your work, then if you're going to be in a romantic relationship with somebody, you want them to be somebody that you can work with. Because otherwise, you're never going to see each other. <laughs> right? Like, um, you want somebody who can take five cups and turn it into ten, not somebody who takes ten cups and turns it into five. Okay? That bothers you. So I, you may worry... Um, incessantly about making the wrong decision or you may be worrying incessantly because you've made the wrong decision you, you feel like you entrusted your baby right your life's work to the wrong partner someone's taking the 10 and turning it in yeah you go way back with this person yeah the lover exactly the fool or the five to a one exactly but the beautiful thing about the one is that the one is the ace, and the ace is a new beginning. Oh. Yeah, so that when you lose it all, you can't start again until you've lost it all. That would, that would be Virgo energy. Like, any other sign could just be like, that's ridiculous. But Virgo invests so much time and energy that before they can start, before Virgo can get a fresh start, they have to lose everything. Because as long as there's still something remaining, Virgo will work it, right? It's like, use the metaphor of a parcel of land. Like, you start out with two acres, then you go down to an acre and a half, then an acre, then half an acre. Virgo will continue what anybody would, right? Like a subsistence farmer would continue to till that land until it was all taken from them. Only once the land has is, is been taken from them completely are they able or is it necessary for them to start anew, okay? This is, Virgo can get trapped in this energy a little bit, right? Of like the subsistence farmer. Of like, well, I, there's still something there. Like, I don't care if it's a quarter of an acre. There's still something there. Like, we're still making a profit. We're not break. We're breaking even, baby. So, or I'm selling records. So, or, you know what it is. It you you know what it is. The fool, the empress. Yeah. So somebody could have entrusted 
their life's work to the wrong person, quite frankly. But it's 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 okay, right? Your your loved ones are safe. And you will shortly make a new friend to your great advantage. Okay, Virgo? Yeah, because you don't just let anybody into... You're not... You can't. How how can you? Your work is your life. They have to be the right person. They have to share your vision. They have to match your energy, right? Well, after this reading, you're going to help me to make a dream. Okay. I was thinking after this reading, we'd go to the park. Oh. Oh. We're not going to skip it? No. Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So you're going to get some news. You're going to receive news about who your true partner is. Got it? Like, you're going to, um, who you should truly let into your home. Because nine times out of ten, if you're Virgo, you're working from home, right? Or, like I said, it, it life and work are seamlessly interwoven for a lot of Virgos. So, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to find your queen. Or, you're, or if you are the queen, you're going to find your king, okay? Yeah. I mean, like, if you're a musician, you're gonna, you, Virgo has a studio in, like, I don't give a fuck if it's a, a, a one-bedroom apartment. Virgo will sleep on the fucking porch. And, you know, <laughs> like, Virgo will sleep in the closet so that they can have a studio. That's what I'm getting at, right? So, like, our, our Arthur's. It could be, an, your name could be Arthur, so this could be uh, an ancestor. Um, you just could have really liked Arthur growing up. I don't know. But, yeah, like authors, uh, musicians, artists, um, anything that allows you to work from home that is also a lifestyle. Or that can be a lifestyle. There we go. Virgo likes their work to be a lifestyle. Or they like to have a lifestyle they can profit from. Does that make sense? If Virgo is a counselor or a doctor or a dentist or a hairstylist, Virgo is operating out of their own home. If Virgo is a tarot reader, Virgo is operating out of their own home. So who you let into your home is the equivalent of who you let into your business, who you let into your professional life. You're going to receive... Um, news about who this person is or who this person will should be the tower yeah lessons learned lessons learned definitely you you had to learn some hard lessons about discernment really four and four so you feel you could be feeling held back while you're dreaming of of a fresh start maybe or you're looking for that x factor right you're looking for that hidden factor like you've got your bases covered here but you can sense there's something missing okay you had to learn that lesson you had to learn a hard lesson not to let um uh, we're dealing we're talking a lot about scarcity mentality in the earth tribe today not to let that scarcity mentality uh cloud your judgment just because somebody looks good on paper doesn't mean they're going to be good in person. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. We're talking about a partnership here. So, for Virgo, there is really no no separation between, um, like, a, a romantic partnership and a professional partnership, right? I'm not saying you're out there trying to get in a relationship with everybody you do business with or that you're... You, but what I'm saying is for the long term, for a partner, yeah, you had you had to learn some hard let Buddy, keep it down. Yeah, I, duh. It's wide open. Just shake it off in the garbage. So sorry. Um, 
What did I tell you? Life and work. Uh, yeah, you had to learn some hard lessons. You had to turn your back on somebody that you thought was going to be a good fit. Somebody who was going to help you um, prosper and... Uh, they just, they just, they just aren't, or they just, they just didn't, you know, you, they maybe made, uh, reckless decisions with the, the budget, they simply don't know, they have no business acumen, whatever it is, okay, finally, he got his treat done, he got his treat made, there's a massive mess, there's sugar everywhere, but, whatever so anyway yeah somebody just beguiled you with the queen of wands here somebody beguiled you into believing that you would have uh, a victory with them but in reality they were just toxic probably selfish um or somebody may have thought that they could pull one over on you because uh, maybe you're very beguiling, you know, you don't necessarily intend to be, but you just have that natural wit, that natural grace, that natural beauty about you. So somebody thought they could come into your home, into your, your sanctuary, into your business or, you know, whatever, and uh, play you for a fool. And you may have given this person the benefit of the doubt for a lot longer than you should have. And uh, you suffered some some financial repercussions for that because when you finally sat down and looked at I heard the payroll when you finally sat down and looked at the books looked at the numbers this person's losing you money they're not gaining you money they're losing you money somebody thought that because if you are feminine somebody thought that because you were pretty because you were mild-mannered because you were kind that you must be stupid when it comes to business and they maybe had a lot of with the devil card they may have had a lot of uh braggadocio oh yeah i know all about making money blah 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 oh yeah oh yeah and you're like great that's what i need okay somebody who can help me with this and then you looked at the books and you're like wait a second you're fucking losing me money what are you talking about you're fucking losing me money fool get out <laughs> virgo doesn't play around with that shit you want to see a virgo get heated fuck with their money fuck with their numbers <laughs> you don't want to do that fuck with their livelihood Ver their livelihood that's what it is so yeah it's okay that's why being vain will cause you pain okay yeah time for healing yeah you may feel like um you know somebody took you for a ride and your pride's wounded your pride's wounded did you get that all right my camera so yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you're worrying excessively about this. Um, will I ever be able to recuperate? How could I have been so foolish? Um, you may be doubting your, your powers of discernment. Please don't, please don't. You gave somebody a chance to prove themselves to be an idiot and that's precisely what they did. Okay? You gave somebody a chance to prove that they were an idiot and that's what they did. Yeah, see? And they took they probably took off. This could be them. Like, okay, well, see you later then. Oh, she's or he or she's caught on that I'm stupid, so I better fucking hightail it before everybody else finds out. They could have ghosted you or some shit. Or that could be you. You could it's time for you to you gotta let this stuff go because it's time for you to um embrace a new horizon, right? You can't embrace new... You can't have a future if you're constantly living in the past. You've got to forgive yourself, okay? You've got to forgive yourself. You don't have a choice, Virgo. You've got to. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you're going to receive... Ooh, it's a peekaboo spread. I love peekaboo spreads. Yeah. So you're gonna get a you're gonna get a new... A fresh start here. You're going to learn something about... Or you're going to learn something about this fool. You're going to learn something. You're going to get some news. You're going to, maybe an intuitive download. You're going to get some news about this fool. All right? This fool moves on. This fool does this. All right? This fool does this to people. They come in. They fuck shit up. 
for their own e by their own egotistical design, they fuck everything up and then they just move on. Taken for a fool. Yes, I am because. How's it go? Yes, I was because I was a fool. I think it's by the shins. Taken for a fool. Do, do. So it's okay. You're going to find out that that may help you heal a little bit. Like you may find out that people that you also really respect in your, um, in the industry, whatever industry you're in, just the industry, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, he or she does this. You, you, you may have cut them off preemptively. You're going to find out that you're actually, you're way smarter. You're way ahead of the game. You're over here fretting and fretting like oh my god how could i have been so dumb how could i have let you know this situation get away from me like this how could i have you know i didn't use my discernment but actually you did use your discernment because as soon as you saw that you were losing money you cut this person out bye right you're gonna find out that this fool has done way more damage to to people also in your industry and uh, you're, you're going to get a new perspective on what happened. You're going to get a new perspective. You're going to realize that you actually um, were way more insightful than like 99% of the people that they mess with. That's why they ghosted. That's why they ghosted because, you know, you found out as soon as it was time to check the books. Like as soon as you noticed you were losing money, you checked into this person. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you checked into this person. Whereas um, the others prior that they had dealt with simply gave them the benefit of the doubt. This person could be very beautiful, very sexy, very attractive, very, you know, like I said, a, a, a braggart, lots of braggadocio. Oh, of course I know. Or, oh, don't worry, that's supposed to happen. But you actually know business? Yeah, this is what's going on. You actually know business. <laughs> you are the business savvy one. Right? Somebody thought that because you were mild-mannered, because you were attractive, um, because you were humble, that that meant you were stupid. Right? Oh, wow. This one really doesn't know. Oh, no, my friend. You could teach them a thing or two. And you did. And that thing you taught them was don't fuck with Virgo because Virgo finds out and Virgo cuts you the fuck out and then you're dead to Virgo. That's all there is to it. Virgo doesn't get mad. Virgo's not um, hateful. Virgo's not really much of like a fight, like a brawler, like a fighter, you know. Virgo will just, you're just dead to Virgo. That's it. Bye. Gone. Just like that thing just fell, just gone. <laughs> Somebody's not expecting that. What this person could have been doing could have been illegal as well. And you caught on like that. Like you could have caught on within the first one to three months. Whereas most people don't catch on for one to three years. What's going on? You caught on quick. So remember that, okay? So yeah, congratulations. You caught on quick to what this schemey, scammy, slimy person was up to. And uh, as soon as you heal... From this experience, you will receive a confirmation about who your true uh, partner is, right? The person you can share your life, your love, and your work with, all right? Because you have proven to the universe that your um, discernment skills are on point, right? That's what this whole thing, Virgo, is karmically meant to teach you. That on the contrary, you may doubt your, your ability to discern. Your ability to discern is on point. You caught on to somebody playing with you after one to three months when most people do not catch on to this person's schemes until one to three years. All right? So I sincerely hope this helps you heal, okay? Bye.